As you can tell, today is fasting day, but we're making breakfast. Yeah, so what's going on? What's up with that? Those crazy kids. I'm doing weird things. I'll tell you. Um, so there is really no right way to do intermittent fasting. There's a lot of different, different options, different ways to go about it. And we have been doing the 5-2, and we started doing it back in July, I right. guess, of last year. Yes, at least by then. Yeah, so 5-2 means that you eat regularly five days a week, and then two days a week you um, fast. Right. And typically that means that in a 24-hour period you take in about 500 calories. Well, we did early we did. on. Yes, we did. Early on when we first started fasting, we were really stringent about that. Good morning. It's good to see you, Chelsea. Yeah, good morning. Um, we, were, we were really like conscientious about the 500 calories and we like look things up and how many calories were in them and whatever. Right. And I think that definitely contributed to our weight loss, the, you know, the 15 pounds we lost in 10 weeks. Right. I think that definitely contributed. Um, as time progressed, so when we, we, we started originally, we were fasting on Wednesdays and Saturdays and we realized that fasting on a Saturday really negatively impacted our social life. Right. And so, yeah, that's not oh, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. The, the oven's ready for bread. Right. Hey, Trish. Um, so, yeah, we found that fasting on a Saturday just didn't work with our, our social lives. And right. so we ended up switching it to what you guys see regularly now, which is we fast on Mondays and Thursdays. Correct. And we've been eating dinner. So we eat dinner on, say, Wednesday night, and then we wait and eat dinner again on Thursday night. Right. That's what we've been doing. And we've gotten less and less stringent about the amount of calories we eat. We just, you know, we stuck to the kind of once every once in a 24 hour period, but right. we worried less about how many calories we were eating. So how, what, what have you been experiencing? Why did we switch to eating breakfast? What's been happening to me is usually around two or three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm just, I was just done. I mean, my energy level was just zapped. Um, and since we still have a lot of work to do, and since I still have a lot of work to do in addition to our work, mm -hmm. um, that was not a good thing. Mm -hmm. So my mind was just like, okay, it was shutting down on me as far as being able to concentrate and all that. Um, so we started bringing down the time, right? Well, so yeah, we were eating at 6 in the evening. So we would eat at dinner at 6 on Wednesday, and then we'd eat dinner at 6 on Thursday. And so then when we did it, we backed it up, and we started eating at 4 on right. Thursday. Right. So rather than fasting for 24 hours, we were basically fasting for 22 hours. Right. And how did, like, why, why did that not fix the problem? Because I still had the same problem where by 2 o'clock... You know, one o'clock, two o'clock. I'm like, you know, I'm spent. Right, and we don't. I mean, we don't start working usually till about ten because right. we go to the gym and right. we do this yes. and you know whatever. And so breakfast. we don't actually get in front of our computers until about ten o'clock in the morning. Right. And so to be done by two is that's like half a day. You're not getting any work done. Exactly. And since we're running multiple businesses, you know, we're starting our our journey and trying to get that up and working on the webinar for that. You've got you know RGB clients, design yeah. and your clients there. You've got I know a web guy .com and yeah. the clients there. I've got my my coaching business. So it was really not working. And we we have some theories as to why that is. It could be that because we're leaner now, yeah. which our bodies just don't have the body Extra fat. The burn. Yeah, yeah, that we used to. That you know maybe that it's harder. So what we've decided to do, and this is this is our first day. This you you get to see it uh, yes. live live and in person. Um, we've decided we're going to try and instead of eating dinner on Wednesday and then not eating till dinner on Thursday, we're going to try eating breakfast on Thursday and then not eating again until breakfast on Friday. Which will put us back to 24 It'll hours. It'll put us back to the 24 hours. Right. So we'll, we'll just have to see kind of how that works for us and right. how, how we feel about it. Um, the other thing that's interesting about us fasting is that there's a lot of science about intermittent fasting, but it's usually... They test it in, in relation to the regular standard American diet, an omnivore diet. Right. And then there's a lot of science about eating whole food plant-based, but they don't combine interact. The they don't combine the two. No. Like I, we, the only people we know that do whole food plant-based and intermittent fasting is us. The two guinea pigs here. Yeah. So we, we don't know really if there's not a lot of science about does it benefit whole food plant-based people the way it benefits right. people who are omnivores. Right. I know there are some of you that watch us who are um, quite a bit whole food plant-based, you know, 80%, maybe a little more, and also do intermittent fasting. Right. So I know that a lot of people that we talk to, when they do intermittent fasting, they do usually 16 to 18 hours. Well, and of course, also the interesting thing is uh, whole food plant-based lifestyle 
um, it's just healthier way to eat your food. Right. Where intermittent fasting, it, the reason why we did that is because it gives your body a chance. If it's not digesting food, right. it gets a chance to heal things in your body. So in a way, they're, they're still go- gearing towards health, yeah, but they're, they're doing it from a different, different yeah. perspective. Because the point of intermittent fasting is to give your body a break from insulin. And we've talked about how insulin is really the go-go hormone. It really makes you know things happen. It takes care of things. It digests food. It puts fat in into right. cells like it's just doing stuff and if you give your body a break from that which part of it is if you're not eating so much animal protein and animal fat you're not getting so much insulin resistance and right. because of fat in your blood but intermittent fasting really shuts that down because if there's no food in your system your body doesn't release any insulin at all right so for us it's, it's going to be different we're going to see we're going to see this is the first day we and eat. as, you, as <clears throat> you know our our breakfast is close to a thousand calories right. so we're obviously not going to try and do the 500 calorie right, or thing 600 for, for, for 600 for men yeah right. we're not going to try and do that piece of it we're just going to eat our regular breakfast and i feel like i'm, I'm probably going to be fine because there's a lot of days where i don't even think about right, eating right. i think it's more likely you'll be fine than i will because well, I usually have a you know a snack and then I have lunch and then I have snack and then I have dinner. Yeah, we'll have to see. So we'll yeah. let you guys know tomorrow kind of how today went. And I think the biggest struggle is going to be when we're done working at say six or seven o'clock at night because right. that's when we usually start. You know, we'll get out the almonds or we'll right. have dried fruit or whatever. I think that's what's going to be the challenge is when we're finished working. Right. Yeah. So, so we'll see. I mean. This is this is the day one of the new uh, standard. Yeah, we'll see what it looks. Like. We may go back. We may not. We may try something else. I mean, there are other ways to do fasting. Like I, I have a client who does intermittent fasting every day, where she eats in a feeding window. She doesn't eat until I think it's four in the afternoon, and then she eats all of her calories before eight o'clock at night. So right. she eats in a four-hour window, and that's one way of doing it. And it's just as valid as oh, doing yeah. what we do. Absolutely. Um, there are people who do every other day where they, they do inter- intermittent fasting where they eat one day normally and then they fast the next. Right. So there are a lot of options out there. We've told you before about the documentary Eat Fast and Live Longer. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Um, Dr. Jason Fung is um, a really good author to read. He wrote The Obesity Code and The Complete Guide to Fasting. I think both of those are really good books. So if you're interested in intermittent fasting, those would be great options um, for you to to check out and to use. Um, I got them from the library originally when we started this uh, last summer. Right. And I'm probably going to get them again and just kind of refresh my knowledge because it's something I want to do a module in our master class about intermittent fasting and I want to make sure that I have the right information because you know you know how it is you learn something and you're like yep that's the right thing to do and you just start doing it and then you forget the background right well plus we are doing one particular type of fasting right. so we're not necessarily ingrained in us the other types and you know and you know yeah. the different things that go on so it's definitely good to refresh but yeah that's why we're eating breakfast on a fasting day that's right so we'll see if you guys have any questions about fasting or if you do fasting or find any value with it uh, we'd love to hear about it because yeah. it's definitely one of those things that there's not a lot out there. There's science, but there's not a lot of people talking about it yet. Right. So we like to hear other people who are doing it.